as you know, everybody evaluates you on how much you give away. To me, that's pointless. It's what you get done that counts. You know, people are, and nonprofits are always, look how much money we raised. Well, no, no, what did you get done? Right? So my thought is we got into it and we'll put, put this money towards making enormous difference. Why can't we fix the world? You're 64 years old, you're born in India, moved to the US when you were a teenager, got yourself into the prestigious Princeton University, only to drop out a year later. Then you spent 12 years in India, being a monk, coming back to the US where you now live, producing and building up this successful billion dollar empire, selling your five hour energy drink. What leadership philosophy do you practice in your life? Mine, everything starts at common sense. To me, leadership is really simple. What I practice, which is, Walk the walk. In other words, if you steal a pencil from your office, everybody else will. And if you do what's right, and everybody else seems to go along with it, that's, that's all there is to me in leadership. The rest of it is, you know, courses in leadership are, are like courses in ethics. If you've got to be told, if you've got to be taught ethics, you're not going to get it. Same in leadership. People want to talk leadership. Just do it. Then you don't have to talk. They're talkers and doers, you know. So what drives you? What motivates you? What gets you going? I like work. I have fun at work. Uh, get up in the morning and you go, all right, what else is there to do? That's, that's what uh, motivates me. Not, I mean, people say, are you giving back? No, it implies I took something, right? I didn't take anything from the poor. So I'm not giving back. It's, I feel it as, as sort of a duty. Uh, I'm sort of old-fashioned, maybe like 2,000 years old-fashioned. It's like that's what you do. You're following some of the wealthiest in America, like Warren Buffett, Bill and Melinda Gates, by giving away your wealth. As one of the richest in the country, how do you push for change? What's the best way to do it? I think it's, for me, it's coming up with, I'm experiencing that. I'm still learning. Um, I'm finding also that even if you come up with something that everybody sees as obviously the thing to do, they won't do it. The rich won't do it. The politicians won't do it. Because everybody has their agenda already. And to get past that is really difficult. So I've kind of taken on this view, not a problem. I'm going to do it all by myself. <laughs> not a problem. No, I mean... You like the challenge. Yeah, to me, it's if you don't get something done, it's just whining. You know, make it happen. Work at it. So it's a diff different attitude, I suppose. And finally, where do you see yourself five years from now? What difference do you hope to make? What impact do you want to make? I don't look at it that way at all. I get up in the morning, I just work hard. And that's all. Five years from now, ten years from now, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Uh, I don't have like a goal that I'll do this. It may be, I think most of the stuff we're doing will be really implemented after I'm gone. It doesn't matter. What our, my job I see is do the best today. You know, don't make any excuses, just work hard today. That's all. No plans to becoming a monk again? <laughs> well, I'm already pretty much, uh, I, I, I like that lifestyle. It's a, my wife would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Manod, for talking Thank to me. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Do check us online at managingasia.cnbc.com for more exclusive leadership insights. Until next time, I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. You can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.